So this book called Indistractable by Nir Eyal was mind blowing, especially for anybody who's easily distracted. If you're a procrastinator, all of that, if you have a goal that you're trying to accomplish and you just can't seem to hit it, you feel like you're stuck. This video will break down how you'll be indistractable. Do it. This is work. I got five big takeaways, maybe six. So I recently got into the etymology of words, right? Like I started looking up words using this etymology dictionary to understand what the word, what's the root word, where does it come from? From an etymology standpoint, uh, distraction is derived from a word that literally means drawing away of the mind, distraction. And so basically things that distract us, distraction, they impede us from making progress. They prevent us from moving forward in life because it it is something that is drawing our mind away from what we need to be focused on distraction we are aware of distraction but have you ever thought of the opposite of the word the opposite of distraction what's the opposite of distraction traction traction is the opposite of distraction and i mean that makes sense right i feel like we've heard the phrase like man we we haven't got any traction on this i haven't got traction on this Traction is the opposite of distraction. Traction comes from a Latin word that literally means to draw or to pull. So we can think of traction as the actions that draw us towards what we want in life, the actions that pull us in the right direction. And so as you're listening to this, as you think about picking up the book, you'll see the theme of like, how can I gain traction and avoid distraction? How can I be indistractable? Which I feel like is extremely, in, which I feel like is extremely important in this day and age in which we live, being able to focus and being indistractable. So, all right, here are my now five big takeaways from the book. Takeaway number one: you got to understand your internal triggers. So, you know that urge you get to check your cell phone when you should be prospecting or following up on leads or actually trying to apply for jobs. That's what Neil calls an internal trigger, and it's it's essential to understand these triggers. And so whether you're bored, you're stressed, or just procrastinating, you need to recognize first what's pulling you away from the task and tackle it head on. And so maybe that means you need to get up and take a quick walk. Maybe you need to step out and just soak up some of this, this the Chicago air or wherever you are. But like whatever that thing is that's, that's help making you lose traction, you need to go do something else. Takeaway one. Takeaway number two. You got to make time for work and play. So like if you're in tech sales, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Every month, you got a goal to hit. And so you got to balance grinding with unwinding. And in the book, E.L. suggests being really intentional with your time. So, so yes, sure. Schedule times, schedule your, your client calls, schedule your strategy session. But also, you got to make some time for things that rejuvenate you. You need to be intentional about it. And so, like, on my calendar, I'm hitting the Bulls game. I'm going to explore the loop. I'm going to take my wife out to, to, to dinner, like, chilling by the lake. But balance keeps you motivated, and it prevents you from burning out. Takeaway number three, you got to hack back external triggers. So, our world is full of distraction, email, social media, you name it. To stay indistractable, you got to hack back those in external trigger. So you got to set specific times for checking emails, set times for social feed. You got to create your workspace that minimizes distractions and maximizes your focus. When you can sure schedule times, schedule your, your client calls, schedule your strategy session. But also, you got to make some time for things that rejuvenate you. You need to be intentional about it. And so, like, on my calendar, I'm hitting the Bulls game. I'm going to explore the loop. I'm going to take my wife out to, to, to dinner, like, chilling by the lake. But balance keeps you motivated, and it prevents you from burning out. Takeaway number three, you got to hack back external triggers. So, our world is full of distraction, email, social media, you name it. To stay indistractable, you got to hack back those in external triggers. So you got to set specific times for checking emails, set times for social feed. You got to create your workspace that minimizes distractions and maximizes your focus. 
When you can control your environment, you can control your success. Takeaway four, you got to pre-commit to your goals. Now, this is the big one. Pre-commit. Set your sales targets, your interview targets, your how many applications you're going to com- target. Set it aside and commit to them. In the book, he talks about making a pact with yourself. And so maybe if you said, I'm going to commit to making 50 cold calls a day, or I'm going to commit to enhancing my product knowledge, like commit to it. You got to, you got to, you have to commit. Don't, don't, don't get commitment issues on me. And then write it down, write it down, make make it real. And I'll take it a step further. I would share it with the world. This is what I'm committing to this week, world. And, And that way I almost put you in a position of like, man, if I don't commit to this, capital. Either way, you got to commit. Commit to the goal, not to the distraction. And then my fifth big takeaway that he uh, drops in the book, and I, you know, can't stress this enough. That's why I like the book. You got to build a supportive network. Don't do it alone. I can't tell you how many people just try to do things alone. Like the, it's just this narrative of like, you know, I'm a self made man, started from the bottom. Now I'm here. Like, yes, yeah, sounds good on the song, but in theory, like, Doing it alone, why Why would you Why would you want to do it alone? And so in it, in the book, Indistractable, EO emphasizes the power of community, build a network of mentors, colleagues, peers, join meetups, engage in forums, comment and engage on LinkedIn and online, find a sales buddy that you can like compete with and that you can challenge. A strong network not only supports you, a strong network not only supports you, but also keeps you accountable. So boom, there you got it. Five indistractable strategies to power up your interview game, your sales game, whatever game that you're playing. Master your triggers, balance work and play, control your environment, commit to your goals, and lean on your network. With these tips, you'll be unstoppable and increase your hustle and you'll be ready to dominate. Here's to balance, focus, making big moves. Let's get this work.